Hello and welcome. In this video we will provide a brief overview of the steps taken during a Lean Six Sigma project. For full details of each phase, please visit us via our website. Lean Six Sigma uses a five-step MAKE process as the backbone of its continuous improvement projects. MAKE stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, and control. The define phase is about understanding the customer's expectations VOC and starting the project. In the measure phase, we measure the voice of the process, VOP at the gamba. In the analyze phase, we identify the difference between the VOP to the VOC and identify the important inputs, X's, that have an impact on this difference. In the improve phase, we identify and implement solutions. And, in the control phase we standardize and replicate the significant twins of this project to other lines and areas. Lean Six Sigma is customer focused, makes significant step change improvements in reducing process defects resulting in significant savings. Prior to launching a Lean Six Sigma project, ensure the problem fits the following criteria. Factors. A Lean Six Sigma project should be implemented on a process that has multiple factors, inputs, X's, that are influencing the process output, Y. Common cause variation, the process is stable, exhibiting only random, non-assignable variation that is inherent to the process. Solutions to reduce and control the variation are both complex and simple but unknown. Therefore, they require further investigation. If they are simple and known then perform just do it. The project will require at least 3 to 6 months to complete. If the project is less than 1 month consider performing a Kaizen event often referred to by some as a mini D make. Project savings can fluctuate from company to company. However, typical Lean Six Sigma projects deliver a cost savings of $250 to $1 million. Here is Bob at the Gamba. He has just been hired by Energy Life to improve the process capability on Energy Life tomato powder drink mix manufactured online too. Problem Statement Since the 3rd of May 2014, when Energy Life started producing Energy Life powdered tomato drink online too filling, 35% of the cans are rejected due to high weights. The number of rejects are consistent throughout the run and occurs during every shift. Therefore, for every 10 cans produced approximately 4 cans are rejected for high weights, based on the problem statement. Does this problem fit the criteria for a Lean Six Sigma project? With what we know, it appears to. Therefore, the team will launch the Define phase. In the Define phase, we address the Lean Six Sigma criteria questions by converting the problem statement into a viable project. If the project fails to satisfy the criteria, the team may decide to pursue another continuous improvement technique such as root cause analysis, Kaizen, just do it, equipment reliability project, breakdown analysis, or SMED. The main deliverable of the define phase is the project charter. It serves as a contract between the team and management. It consists of a problem statement business case, toll gates, project scope, Project Goals, Primary and Secondary Metrics, Project Deliverables, Total Savings Opportunity, Project Goal, Team Members. Prior to moving to the measure phase, the project charter should be signed off by the project leader, financial controller, champion, and process owner. This seals the agreement. In the measure phase, the team goes to the gem bar in order to identify and measure the X's, inputs of the process for the Y outputs. In the measure phase, Bob performs process capability. He sees that the process is, one based on the current sample. The process variance exceeds the customer's expectations. In other words, the range of the process exceeds the range between the upper and lower specification limits. 2. The process hugs the upper specification limit. The weight of most of the cans are at or around the maximum acceptable weight. In the analyze phase, the team identifies and filters out important X's, inputs, to the Y, output, using soft tools, fishbone, 5Y, descriptive and inferential statistics. During the analyze phase, 
Bob and his team identify and prioritize all of the important inputs, X's, that are having an impact on the output, Y, which is the weight of the can, factors multiple, check, there are multiple factors, inputs, that impact the process capability of the process output, Y, such as, product density, initial ingredient weights, conveyor height, alignment, and transition, process settings, and actuator speed, cause, common, check. The process continues to produce approximately the same number of defects run to run, roughly 35%. In the improve phase, the team identifies prioritizes, and implements improvements to the critical X's, outputs, found during the analyze phase. After implementing the solutions during the improve phase, the new process is, one process variance of the new process fits well within the customer's expectations, the weight of each can measured, fall within the upper and lower specification limits, 2. The process hugs the target. The mean weight of the sample is approximately equal to the target weight, solutions, simple and complex, check. Improving process capability requires a significant process change in order to shift the mean or decrease variability. Often, requiring DOE, and other inferential statistical tests, such as, regression analysis, hypothesis testing, for example, ANOVA, or Moods Median Test, and many others. In the control phase, the team standardizes the improvements made during the improve phase, creates training plans, installs control measures, and implements stability charts, to track the sustainability of the process. After the completion of the project, the team celebrates the project's success. This concludes this brief video on performing a Lean Six Sigma project. If you enjoyed this video, please join us at http colon slash slash l6sigmasupportal.wix.com slash learn c for free.